We've made it clear to Alyssa that it's not required that she have responsibility for Katie after we, I might be gone. Um, but I have now that Alyssa is an adult, started to introduce her to some of the systems of care and the processes we go through as parents or as guardians of an adult. So she's come to DDS meetings with me. She's come to evaluate day have programs with me. She helped pick Katie's um, new group home. Um, I wouldn't, you know, I need Alyssa's seal of approval before <laughs> I make the final decision. Um, not because I'm putting all that burden on her, but because she is an integral part of Katie's life and I want her to have some base understanding. My hope is that she is always kind of overseeing care. Um, I don't expect that, I, I don't want her necessarily to have all the day-to-day -day responsibilities. If she were to make that choice, we'd have a long conversation about that. But um, I do suspect and hope and have, you know, reason to believe that she'll always be involved in Katie's life, some way or another. Um. Uh, if Alyssa were here, I would ask this her directly. Um, so, but she's not. So, um, has she expressed worries or concerns to you about if she were the only living family member of her sister? Um, more like she's given reassurances that she's up for the task, and then it's me trying to say, "But wait a minute, you have a life to live too." And I don't necessarily want you to have that day-to-day -day responsibility, but I'd be thrilled if you could stay involved at least overseeing care. Um, I don't ever want Lissa to feel like she doesn't have that option. Um, and I've also, you know, show her that she wouldn't be in it alone, that there are people out there who will support her. We have some friends who she could call for guidance, and she knows who those people are and is not afraid to, to reach out if she needed to. And we talk about this just like we talked about all the other issues along the way, um, and she knows where the legal documents are and what the trust says and what the wills say, and, and also knows about Katie's circle of support and who to seek out and who the important contacts are, um, whether it be DDS or Dayhab or Group Home or, or whatnot.